Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create clickable hyperlinks in a LaTeX document. Specifically, I'm going to show you three things. One, given a table of contents, I'm going to show you how to turn every entry in the table of contents into a clickable hyperlink. Now, notice the last element is number six. Okay, let me scroll down to the bottom. And as you notice, we have a reference section after the last element or entry in the table of contents. So number two, I'm going to show you how to make the references um, section appear in the table of contents and to make it a clickable hyperlink. And lastly, number three, for any entry in your references that have a URL as indicated here, I'm going to show you how to turn that URL into a clickable hyperlink. So to begin, let me first show you where I got this, obtained this file, harvard.txt. That way you can follow step-by-step step what I'm doing in this video. Well, I simply went to um, Google. I searched for Harvard LaTeX package. The very first entry that came up was CTAN package Harvard. I selected it. Um, I then simply, which is the Harvard citation package for use with LaTeX, I simply scroll down and selected download. So click on this. You have an option then to save it, which I did. And I then went to the, where I downloaded it. I simply right-clicked over it, selected 7-zip extract here. And this, it created a folder called Harvard. I then went into that folder and then I simply opened up Tech Studio and I dragged and dropped harvard.txt into Tech Studio. And then lastly, I clicked build and view and it generated a document. And that's exactly where we are now. I'm now going to show you how to convert every entry into the table of contents into a clickable hyperlink. Well, you simply go to your LaTeX document, scroll down to where you have your packages, and then the very last use package entry should be use package, and then we type hyperref, as you see here. And that's it. <laughs> so simply save the document, click build and view, and that should build and view it. And once it builds and views, you will see every single entry in your table of contents has now become a clickable hyperlink. Now, don't worry, when you print this document, there'll be no red marks. It'll appear just like it was before um, without any red boxes. So let me demonstrate by clicking styles here, and it jumps straight to styles. Uh, once more, let me click World Wide Web 4, and it jumps to page 5, World Wide Web. Perfect. So, step two, I now want to show you how to enable that the references section appears in the table of contents, and then it will also, by definition, become a clickable hyperlink. To do that, we scroll down to the very end of the document, and just before we have our entry slash bibliography, as you see here, so I'm going to enter in some new commands above the comment that appears before slash bibliography, as I'm highlighting here, perfect. So the first thing I'm going to type is slash clear page. And all that does is it puts in a new page because it's good practice that references should appear uh, on a page by itself at the start of a new page. Now, if you don't want that, simply don't type clear, the clear page command, fine. Now to enable the references to appear in the table of contents, we need to use the command add contents line and then within curly brackets, TOC for table of contents. And then we need to pass the parameter section. And then we need to specify what section we want to actually place. And we put backslash OREF name. As you see me, as you see, I've typed here. Perfect. So I'm just making sure there's no typos there. That looks good. So we save that. And then we build and view again. And it's green so far. There's no errors looking good. And let me scroll up to the very top. And now you can see references has appeared in the document with its page and it's formatted nicely. And if I click on references, it brings me down to the new page. It's just, if you scroll down just to see it there, and there is references. Fantastic. The final thing I wish to show you, part three, is for all entries within your references that have a URL component displayed, we wish that to become a clip clickable hyperlink too. So to do that, we go back, scroll up to the top of our LaTeX document, 
um, we scroll down to where we have our new commands, and then just before the slash title, wherever that appears, we're going to type a new command. And the command we're going to type is backslash renew command. And the command we're going to renew is the command Harvard, um, H-A or via Harvard URL, because I am using a Harvard style document. So, so I beg your pardon, put a close brace there. And then the com we're going to renew it as URL colon space backslash URL. As you've seen, I typed it here. Perfect. So I just have a typo there. There should be URL, excuse me. Now that's correct. Renew command backslash Harvard URL. That looks good to me. So once again, we save it and we select build and view. Great. Now let's go down to our references. And as you can see, the link is a hyperlink. So I'm going to click on this link now, and it's opened up my um, Windows Explorer, and it turns out the link is not a valid link, so that's a bit of an anticlimax. Okay, to prove that the hyperlink does actually work, I'm going to quickly change it. So I'm going to go back to my Harvard folder. I'm going to take the bib file, and I'm going to edit it, and I'm going to change the URL that appears here which is specified, as you can see there. I'm going to change that simply to, um, why not, HTTP colon backslash backslash www.google.com. <laughs> Very simple. Um, so I'm going to save that. Um, and back here, and I'm going to regenerate. So I click build and view on the harvard.tech file. And it should appear any moment. Scroll down, and as you can see, the URL is now google.com. And if I click on the link, which I'm going to do now, up comes Windows Explorer, and it goes to google.com. So it works. <laughs> that's great. So that's all I wanted to show you. So to recap, you've learned three things. One, how to turn every entry in the table of contents into a clickable hyperlink. Number two, you've learned how to place the references to ensure that it appears in a table of contents, and it also is a clickable hyperlink. And lastly, you've learned how to ensure that every URL entry that appears within the reference is also a clickable hyperlink. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.